armored vehicle may look like the latest toy from Bruce Wayne's garage, but it is real. It has been presented at the IDEX military exhibition and has undergone many tests. This is a new multi-purpose amphibious armored vehicle. It can accommodate up to six people and carry up to 7,700 pounds of payload. The vehicle can be operated manually or remotely. It is equipped with state-of-the-art protection systems against bullets, mines, and improvised explosive devices. The vehicle runs on a 2,500-horsepower diesel-electric hybrid engine with a top speed of 87 miles per hour. The armored vehicle can overcome ditches of up to 6.5 feet and withstand waves up to 5 feet high. At first glance, this looks like an ordinary Jeep. However, it is a special amphibious vehicle designed to fight fires and assist in rescue operations. It transforms in just three seconds, accelerates up to 65 miles per hour on land and 45 miles per hour on the water. Powerful pumps deliver up to 1,050 gallons of water per minute. This is the world's first amphibious fire rescue vehicle, claims the manufacturer, and they really have a reason to be proud. The design is so good that it's been approved by the US Coast Guard and successfully tested by professional firefighters. Here's a product for ice fishing and winter hunting enthusiasts. This amphibious vehicle can safely cruise through snow, ice, and water. The manufacturer offers several configurations. The standard version features a 26.5 horsepower gasoline engine and a 5 gallon fuel tank. Low pressure tires facilitate maneuvers on different types of terrain. The hull is made of aluminium and a special foam is used to improve buoyancy. It has a padded seat, front and rear lights, as well as a tent in which you can camouflage yourself from animals if you plan to hunt. If you prefer more active and extreme forms of leisure, you'll be interested in our next product. Thanks to the versatile HSA platform, this trike is comfortable both on land and in the water. With a 135 horsepower engine, this trike tops out at 85 miles per hour on land and 45 miles per hour on the water. The HSA Gibbs suspension retraction system is activated when entering the water, making the vehicle very similar to a jet ski. In both modes, it remains maneuverable and easy to drive. The model has a curb weight of 1,300 pounds and is designed for one person. This amphibious bus was created in the Netherlands as a replacement for a ferry. Engineers wanted to create a vehicle that could withstand strong waves from tugboats and cargo ships, while taking into account the peculiarities of the local bridges, many of which are very low, and the engineers succeeded in their task. The vehicle is built on a Volvo chassis and is powered by a Volvo DH12E six-cylinder engine. The bus has a curb weight of 22 tons and a seating capacity of 50 people. At least two of these buses exist, one of which was even used as a tourist bus. The unusual shape of this sea lion has a simple explanation. Its creator wanted to build the world's fastest amphibious vehicle. The resulting machine resembles a racing car more than a boat, but it can reach high speeds both on water and on land. According to reports, the Sea Lion was built from scratch in about six years, and the software also had to be developed by its creator. The Mazda 13B engine allows it to reach 60 miles per hour on water and 125 miles per hour on land. The project was started in 2006, and now the amphibious vehicle has been put on sale for $259,500. Do you think it's a good deal? Iguanas are known not only for being calm, but also for their excellent swimming skills. So, it's not surprising that the creators of this amphibious vehicle have decided to call it the Iguana. 
It is a boat with retractable tracks. They slide in and out in about 8 seconds, and the boat can easily move through sand, rocks, and mud. The boat reaches a speed of 55 miles per hour and is capable of handling waves up to 4 feet high. The vessel can accommodate up to 5 people. Switch from being a driver to a captain by just pushing one button, suggests experts from the Netherlands. The amphibious vehicle they created is available in three versions and is suitable not only for entertainment but also for work. They took a Toyota Land Cruiser SUV as a base. They found its characteristics to be ideal for an amphibious vehicle. You can choose a V6 gasoline or a V8 diesel engine. The vehicle can accelerate up to 85 miles per hour on the highway and 5.5 miles per hour on the water. Interestingly, the low speed on the water is seen as an advantage. In Europe, the owner doesn't need a special license that's required for captains of conventional boats. Engineers claim that this all-terrain vehicle can be driven at any time of the year and on any terrain. It combines the advantages of a snowmobile, tractor, ATV, swamp buggy, and amphibious vehicle. The equipment is available in several versions. The smallest model offers a 35.5 or 57 horsepower engine, can carry 1,100 pounds of cargo, and provides 1,750 pounds of towing capacity. Five people can be transported on land and four on water. The vehicle can operate in a temperature range from minus 22 to plus 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and in particularly demanding situations, the integrated winch will be a great help. Not only compact vehicles want to explore the ocean, but huge construction machines. This excavator is set up to sail around the work area, thanks to special pontoons. It's built on a Japanese Yanmar SV-102A, modified by Dutch experts to the configuration shown in the video. In particular, the undercarriage and boom have been upgraded and the volume of the fuel tank has been increased. For the operator's comfort, there is a special air conditioning system and a GPS. This technology can be used in a variety of situations, for example, for working on dams on soft or boggy ground. Back to military technology. This two-section armored all-terrain vehicle is a Swedish product. The model has been very successful, and the UK Ministry of Defence even ordered a batch of them. Special armour plates provide protection against 7.62mm rounds, artillery shell fragments, and landmines. The ACV is equipped with a 250 horsepower diesel engine and an automatic transmission. The rear section can accommodate eight fully equipped marines. The model is capable of navigating through water. No preparation is required for depths of up to five feet. For deeper areas, two minutes of preparation are required. The ATV has a water speed of approximately three miles per hour. It's nice to see old cars get a second life, thanks to the skilled hands of tuning experts. The Mini Moak, a compact station wagon from the 1960s, will cheer us up once again, not only on land, but also on water. The amphibian vehicle was built in France. It reaches a top speed of 55 miles per hour on land and 8 miles per hour on water. Thanks to its 400cc engine, the model seats two people, and feels good even at considerable depth, as long as there are no heavy waves. Interestingly, the Mini Moak was originally designed as a military vehicle, but due to its low ground clearance and small wheels, it never made it into military use. But the civilian version became very popular due to its low price and ease of maintenance. This all-wheel drive model is very versatile. For example, it can be used for carrying goods, transporting people, and emergency and rescue work. The amphibious vehicle has a ground clearance of 2.2 feet and uses very low-pressure tires. It can be equipped with either an 81-horsepower gasoline engine or a 95-horsepower diesel engine. 
the ATV's top speed is about 43.5 miles per hour. The model has no problem crossing swamps and ponds, and it can drive over sand and snow off-road. Optionally, an engine-driven propeller can be installed on the vehicle too. The ATV can accommodate up to seven people. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals. Amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.